everyone, it's Matt here. Welcome back to another episode of Savant's Tech Talk. Today we're going to look at seven apps that you can use as a software engineer. As always, if you have any questions or if you can think of any more apps that you can use, let us know in the comments down below. If you enjoy this video or find it interesting, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to this channel for more videos. Let's jump into it. First is Trello. Now Trello is probably the best task manager app that you can use. It will allow you to increase your productivity in many ways. It comes with various cards where you can write your task on the card, and then you can simply drag and drop it into different columns. Each of the columns will have different names. For example, you could drag the task that you have to do into the to-do list column. In the same way, you could also take the task directly into the bucket. And if that's the case, you can easily manage your tasks and get all of the things from there. This is a great project management tool that you can use. And also, it's free and available on almost all platforms. So get started using it. Slack. Software engineering demands a high level of collaboration that you just can't get with emails or meetings. And that's where Slack comes in. Slack is a communication app focused on effective collaboration amongst colleagues. Slack has effective channel-based messaging where you can message people according to specific projects that are being worked on. These can be organized by tasks, projects, or even issues. By improving your collaboration using Slack, you're able to develop better code more quickly and more reliably. Stack Overflow. Stack Overflow is one of the best platforms that you can use if you're a programmer. You can find the best questions and answers from this. If you're a new programmer, this will be heaven for you. You can track a text subject trend, learn something new on a regular basis, and also help others. So start using Stack Overflow and get the most out of it. It's one of the best ways that you can build your skills and find the answers that you need. LinkedIn. Now this isn't an app that's gonna be focused specifically on helping you become a better software engineer. However, it's a very useful social networking app. LinkedIn can also be very useful in helping you find a job or project. If you're planning to start freelancing, it can also be a great way to find work. Time Camp. Time Camp is great for tracking your time spent on developing apps, fixing bugs, and running tests. When you track your time, you can find out how much of your work hours are spent on particular tasks, predict future project time, expenses, profits, and you can accurately bill your clients. Spotify. Now you're probably shocked to see Spotify here, but Spotify is a great resource for finding great tech podcasts, like the Accidental Tech Podcast if you're a really diehard techie, or Analog if you want something that's more focused on the human side of technology. Clockwise is great if you're looking for a lot of variety. Back to Work is great if you're looking for to-do lists. And Mac Power users is great if you're into tricks and tools. And then of course there are also many motivational podcasts that are not tech related that might inspire you to be more productive. Also Spotify is just really useful if you want to throw in some soft music to help keep you focused as well. And last but not least, Feedly. Software engineers need to keep up with the latest trends and technologies in their field. Feedly can be used to make sure that you don't miss out on content that interests you. You can use Feedly to create a list of your favorite publications, new topics, YouTube channels, and blogs. It's basically a cloud-based service that arranges your feed according to your priorities. And we decided to throw in a bonus eighth app for you guys, YouTube. YouTube is a great place to find tutorials for software engineers. And you can also use YouTube to subscribe to our channel for more videos. If you enjoyed this video or found it interesting, don't forget to hit that like button and also let us know in the comments if you can think of any more apps that you like to use. Thank you for watching.